All right, so when things occur matters. Tomorrow, we do have the ADP non-farm employment change, which is going to be coming out before the open. Normally, it is a red folder, but normally Friday, that non-farm employment change is more important. <laughs> so that's what we're really looking at. But what we do have tomorrow is Fed Chair Powell testifying, so red folder because he can say things and things happen. Normally, Powell and the Fed is going to affect the financials. So what that tells you to be looking at is the banks and financials overall. There's also jolts. And then an hour after the open, you will have crude oil inventories, which tells us to be looking at energies. So into tomorrow in the energies, XLE, it's a three on the day. So it could go three, three. Maybe we get out of this three and start doing what the month is trying to do. Three on two up with a three, two to the upside. It's going to depend on energy numbers. There's a few inside days in there, like CVX goes to the bottom of this try on the week, goes inside. So inside and down could take the 322 month if things are bad. If they're good, could get the inside and up and start coming back through this stuff. Um, what we did see was some 322s, but they're just a little weak. So like MTDR, we like these closing at the highs. They did not. And the month is still red, week is red, so it's conflicted. So really, we're just going to be patient. And if I just go give you guys a list here, the reason we can be patient is because we know if first if you're like OIH, if this is going from 304 to 364, then it can move $5 first and then we can grab it. It's not the biggest deal. We don't have to be the first ones in. There will be a rev strat in there tomorrow potentially, but we don't have to be the first ones in. If we go in here, energies, you can see these are all the ones taking last month's highs to start. So these will be the strongest ones. You can see a few 322s in here and then a few shooters trying to counter this stuff. So they're still undecided. Energy numbers might bring some more clarity to that. Uh, crude oil, you can see they go up into the highs and then back off. So daily try looks like this. Potentially, they come back into these guys and take this out again. Still a 3-1 week, so still consolidating at this point, which means this action is going to be whippy-whippy. And if we go to the other things that are going up to start the month, it's really just financials, which means Powell and those numbers coming out later this week will be important because personally, I'm not going to buy the regionals. I'm not very interested. The diversified banks, maybe you can go after those, but I'm just not interested simply because we have some new policy coming out. I want to say it's March 11th or 15th and it's going to affect the regionals. So I don't want to be in before that. I'd rather let that happen and then see what, what they're doing, who's getting reversed and who's losing. And since that's the case, there's just not much I need to do there. Uh, what we will be doing tomorrow is since we had our nice simultaneous break lower the spy, you can see you got first and second pivot. So very nice puke. They opened slight poke higher green and then green to red here is when you get short and they dropped 510 to 504 pretty quickly today. And if you miss the initial stuff, 31260 got you in for the afternoon. And then right at the close, they bought to close before Powell. So and they closed some of their shorts. And that was something we talked about on the stream today, potentially happening, and it did. So we're going to be a lot closer to doing nothing tomorrow. If we do see them start recovering, the strongest things will be inside days. So inside days, if we just go to the higher ATR names just to give us... what we were looking for here. So these are gonna be the inside days with the highest ATR. And if we put a direction on there, you're gonna notice we only have eight. So when we talk about lack of inside days, normally we form them, right? We talked about this a lot. I don't know if it was last week or the week before, but with this big lower wick, Powell, maybe we're just whipping around in here tomorrow. So we'll let that happen. Uh, if they're recovering, what we look for is if it's green tomorrow, even if it's slight inside and then just very slightly green like coming back up, go for things taking yesterday's highs. We can just scan for it and say, who's taking yesterday's highs? Since anyone that got short going into the new week, if this is going green and inside, the things that are dragging the index up are not going to be the things that are inside day and green. It's going to be the things that are two up. And those would be where the buys are at. So that's something we can definitely know about. I don't want to be too specific with that simply because it's going to depend on the gaps in the morning. Is there anything gapping in the yesterday's highs? Does the market gap up or down with the news that comes out pre-market, etc.? And what we can say so far is we've negated the month to up in red. So that's first warning sign. We still have not reversed the week on the SPY. 
on the cues, three, two, two, fun to say and fun to do. And then you get a three on the 60. So potentially they go back through that three, but again, we'd prefer some inside days tomorrow, ideally. Um, it's still two up red month, so is giving us a little bit of a warning sign. Any time we're below 434.3, we're aiming for 421 and 416. So got a lot of range if things are bad. Go to Dow Jones. This is an inside weekend down, and it closed in force. It stayed inside 60 at the close after your inside day from yesterday's video. So we'd be looking for the magnitude here, and then the other side of this three would be ideal here. So we'll see if that's going to be happening. Uh, IWM also did have the 2-2 down and closed as a Momo shooter. So if things are going to confirm tomorrow, this one has Momo shooter to do that. Also changing monthly continuity, which is your first red flag. Uh, no weekly reversal yet, though. So that's what we see as far as the indexes go. If we hit the sectors, we already talked about energies. So with the numbers tomorrow, that's something we'll be looking at. Um, in the sectors, there's not like there's very there's not many actionable signals. There's lots of two up in reds. So we did see gold gap up some profit taking. Hasn't reversed anything. So from the weekend stuff, that's still fine. You can see why did they do that? Slight higher highs. Slight or no. Let's see. Zoom in. Notice penny higher above this high here. Short term exhaustion. So they took their profit. We'll see if that reversal happens or not. If we go to GLD. Nowhere near reversing any of that. So more than likely this buying is still going to occur and this is corrective. So we can still keep an eye on the gold stuff. GDX would be the other one in there along with JNuggers. And there is silver here as well. This one a little bit worse since it backed off into previous day's range. So if that changes what's happening here on the, the week, three going three, that could be a problem trying to rev strat the month. But for now, there's still just the two up in red. They have not reversed. So we'll keep an eye on the materials. But tomorrow, we're going to focus on the energies and the financials with the Fed speaking. And the, I guess the, what would you call it? The star of the show this week is the Fed numbers or is the job numbers because at the beginning of the month, you always get the job numbers and that's what sets in motion the month because once those come out, you get your big broad information from the news event and then whichever way that broad information expands, that's where the month monthly direction is going. So that's gonna be the most important part of this week. We have positioning short from the beginning of today and we're gonna hold some of that as long as we can to see if this simultaneous daily break holds and we continue to see these things pull back in. But Outside of that, on the strat attack list, what we do have is a few things on the sell list and on the buy list, a lot of those things are backing off. So on the sell list, we'll see shop. They sold Monday, sold Tuesday. You got a shooter month in force, inside weekend down in force. So we'll look for 60 day confirming signals. Snow, this one's really red. So they sold Monday, came back to sell more Tuesday, three, two week, three, two month. So that's really aggressive. And where's it trying to go? Well, the yearly two going three, what's the magnitude of a two going three to take this out? So a lot of range. That's something we'll want to know about. Autodesk from the inside day and down, which I believe we mentioned yesterday, that did come and take the week out. And then that took the weekly magnitude, which took the month outside like we were looking for. So pretty nice. Now that's a three, though, it's got to stay down and out 249.13. And if that happens, then this becomes a continuation. Um, so we'll see if that keeps happening. It's very red. If we go to W day, this one, they did similar except exhaustion risk here on the week. So two, two month is still in force. It's hit its magnitude. We'll just have to see if we go Google. This one is inside month and down. They sold Monday, did come back Tuesday to try and sell more, but we've got this tri form in here on the 15. So maybe they triangle out first and then try and test those lows again. So we'll see what they want to do. If they're really going to puke tomorrow, we'd like to just see them take out 130 67, but nowhere near doing that at the close. So we're going to let that stuff figure itself out, give us some new signals to go off of. The only other breaks we see downside is healthcare. UNH was one we mentioned in yesterday's video. Inside day to trigger three, two week to confirm inside month down, which also confirms rev strat quarter down to this. So it's got a lot of range. If you grabbed it off of 480.1, then 
you got no reason to believe that you can't hold that until that reverses. So as long as that stays down and keeps two into the downside, that's still happening. You got the bio. They sold Monday, sold Tuesday, big inside weekend down. The month, 132 rev strat shooter. So as far as broad information goes, you made the new highs to this. You'd be looking for the new lows here. You just don't have much to draw off of. So you could draw it like that if you wanted. But what we do is just wait until that take gets taken out and then we could draw it off the month. If we go to the week, or actually we'll go over, over here. If we go to the week, you can draw it a little better. So like so. So we know they're trying to take these guys out, 23, 62, maybe even down like to 16 if they really get this going. So a lot of good selling occurring there. And outside of that, SoFi, that one's inside month and down bright red and it's getting killed. So if you look at the week, we'd want to see them come back through this stuff. And that means so far, it potentially looks like it's going out of business, at least <laughs> with how much they're selling this. So we can keep an eye on that as well. It's going to be in the financials. There's also like STNE, which pretty weak, 3-2 shooter month down. And if we zoom out on the week, you do have this big old weekly try that Potentially they could back test, but if they go back into that, then a lot more range to go. So a few things in there on the downside list, as far as the upside goes, energies are going to be top of the list with the most breaks. And I'm just going to show you guys this because there's so many of them. So a lot of energies breaking higher. There's a few inside days like CVX for energies tomorrow for the numbers that come out an hour after the open. If we go scroll down, some consumer discretionaries, just nothing that I'm too interested in. You'll see financials. This is all happening, which, you know, I think they're going these, bringing these up to sell them because later this month, I believe it's the 15th of March, it might be the 11th, the Fed's going to change some policy. And if they do that, I believe the regional banks are going to suffer pretty bad. So if we go and just take a look at the regional bank here, ASB, it's a 2 2 month. So they're trying to take this out first. But what I don't like is. If you go to like a weekly or a daily try, once it takes the magnitude, look at this try, it's completed, right? So I'm thinking they're rallying it up to really puke them back down. If that news is true, that's going to be coming out in the change in policy from the Fed and the government. So I'm going to stick away from those. And the same goes for the real estates. Uh, we do see like AMT. It did get moving off the month here, so it did go green, but you get countered by a shooter day. Uh, along with CCI, countered by a shooter day. And the reason that's important is because last week was a three. So if this goes 2-2 two, two and negates the week, now you're going 3-3 three, three and you got a lot more range to the downside. So I'd rather short these than go long. But if we go in here, you'll see big simultaneous break up on the monthlies. So more than likely, I'm imagining those come back in off those daily signals. We'll have to see. Still very early in the month. But uh, besides that, there's like, you can see select technologies. Nothing to really write home about here. But there's not much I, I really want to go and get in long. At least nothing here that isn't an energy name. So besides those, there's a few materials and like LIN. These are going to be going just straight up into all-time highs. So they bought Monday, came back Tuesday, but I'd like to see some corrective stuff before trying to hop in that. So I'm not going to throw you guys on that, but what we will be watching is those financials, see what they want to do, and those energies with the energy numbers. And ideally, we get some inside days tomorrow. If we're looking at the indexes, whoever's taking out yesterday's highs tomorrow, they're reversing whatever we did Monday. So there, that's where the shorts will have to get out. And I can't tell you that until it starts happening. So for those of you that have the stream tomorrow morning, that'll be part of the analysis we're doing to see how many things are trying to recover. So that'll be about it. And I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for those in the discord. And for those that are not, we'll have tomorrow night's video, which is going to be coming out Wednesday and then we don't get the numbers until Friday. So we might even skip Wednesday's video if we don't got much going on. So we'll see. But that is about it to start the month. Job numbers, job numbers, job numbers.